Hey everybody, Retro Pie Guy here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get your Dreamcast games up and running on Botticera. It's a pretty straightforward process, but can be a little bit confusing if it's your first time going out and doing so. So I'm going to walk you guys through this step by step. Let's jump into it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do in order to get our Dreamcast games added over to Botticera is we first need to locate our game ROMs. There's a bunch of different websites that you could use in order to download ROMs. But once you end up downloading a ROM, you're typically going to be downloading it on a separate computer than what you're using to run Botticera. So best way to bring those ROMs over to Botticera is going to be either on a USB flash drive or a micro SD card that you could connect to that computer that you're running Botticera on. So here I'm actually on my regular desktop PC and I've just downloaded this Atari Anniversary Edition game. And you can see here by the ending that it is a zipped file. So I actually have this downloaded directly into my Samsung flash drive, which is right here. Uh, these are just some additional files that I have sitting on my flash drive currently. So the first thing that we're gonna do here is we're actually going to unzip this. So you want to make sure that you've downloaded 7-zip or a um, software that unzips files. I just happen to like 7-zip best. That's what I use. So. With 7-Zip, as long as you have it downloaded to your computer, you can actually go in here and just go over to, I'm actually on Windows 11 here, so it may look a little bit different depending on what you're using, but I'm gonna go over to Show More Options. Sometimes if you just right click, you'll see a 7-Zip option right here. For me, I have to go to Show More Options, and then if I just go up to where it says 7-Zip, you're gonna notice that you have some additional options over here. I'm just going to hit Extract Files. It's gonna give me a little confirmation. I'm gonna select OK, and it's gonna extract this. And you can see up here, it's pretty quick. It's gonna take about 25 seconds or so from start to finish for this particular game. Every game is gonna be a little bit different though, depending on the size and all of that. So we're gonna let this do its thing here. Looks like we've got about 18 more seconds or so. And once it extracts, it's going to look just like this right here, where now you notice that we have the zipped version and then the uh, regular folder right here. So we don't need the zipped version anymore, so we can just right click and delete this. And now if I double click on this regular one, you're gonna see that I have sitting inside of here, the ROM folder. And if we open this up, you're gonna see all the different parts to it. So I'm going to actually just leave this as it is. I'm going to actually though drag this over and drop it into my flash drive again. And the reason for that is if you go back over here, now when I double click on it, it looks like this. We don't have that additional folder inside there. So um, it just eliminates one of those folders. So I have that sitting in here. Again, this is all just additional files and whatnot that I have saved on this flash drive. So we're going to take this over to Botticera now. So I'm going to jump off my regular computer, take out my USB flash drive here, and I'm going to boot up Botticera and then end up plugging in the same flash drive over there. All right, so I just booted up Botticera here on my gaming PC, and I'm going to connect my keyboard as well as a mouse because we're gonna be jumping into our file system here. So what we're gonna do from this page currently is we're gonna hit F1 on our keyboard. That's going to bring us directly into our file system. And now I'm gonna take that USB flash drive that I pulled from my regular PC with that ROM on it, and I'm gonna insert that into my gaming PC here. All right, so here is our file system, and then down here at the bottom you can see our Samsung flash drive, which is the flash drive that I've inserted from the um, other computer with that ROM on there. So if I click on this, you can see the Atari uh, ROM is located right here. So all we're going to do here is we're actually going to open this up so you can see the various parts to it here. And I want to recommend doing this. If we kind of hover over this first one here, you're going to see that it ends with .cue you're going to remove this. And I'll tell you why. If we don't remove this, what's gonna end up happening is when we go to add our game into our Dreamcast list, you're going to find that it adds in there two times because of this file right here. So we're gonna just move this to the trash, I'm gonna select yes, and now everything else is going to remain exactly the same. So let me just back out, and now we're going to click on this ROM folder, we're gonna right click and we're gonna copy it. Now we're gonna jump over to ROMs here on Botticera and we're gonna locate our Dreamcast ROM collection. And that's right here. 
And now any open space down here, if you just right click and hit paste, it's going to load in this ROM folder directly into our Dreamcast ROMs. Typically a Dreamcast game is going to take uh, about 15 seconds or so from start to finish to fully load in. And then you can just locate it up here just to make sure that it did in fact load in 100%. So with this one being A, it's gonna be located at the top and there it is right there. So we're gonna to go to the top left corner where it says file now. We're gonna drop down to close window and now we're back into Botticera. So on your keyboard, if that's what you're using right now, uh, you could also do this with a gamepad controller. You're gonna open up your main menu. So keyboard, it's going to be the space bar. Gamepad controller is gonna be start. It's gonna open up the main menu just like this. And then we're gonna drop down to game settings. We're gonna select this and update game lists. We're gonna just confirm it with yes. It's gonna take about two seconds to do. Now, if we jump into Dreamcast, you're going to notice that we have that game located right here. And if this is your first time adding a game in here, it's gonna look just like this, where we have this little cartridge and it just says the title of the game across there. You're not gonna have anything scraped. That's when you have descriptions and videos and all that. If I go down to this next one here, you can see this one's already been scraped. So we have the logo, the descriptions, the ratings, box art, and a video preview. Now I'll show you guys real quick on here how to scrape if you wanna do that, I'm sure you do. Uh, but if you wanna see my more in-depth video on how to scrape, jump down to the description of this video and there'll be a full length video in there walking through exactly how to scrape both individual games as well as entire collections. So if you're going in here and you're putting together a massive Dreamcast collection like I have right here, you can see I have uh, a whole lot of games in here. Um, if you want to do an entire collection like this, say you added not just one title today, you added 50 titles, you could scrape them all at once to save time. So definitely jump down to the description, take a look at that video. So since we just have the one title today, I'm going to show you guys exactly how we'll scrape. We're actually going to hold down the enter key on our keyboard when we're highlighting this game. It's going to give us a bunch of options, but under options there, you can see it says scrape. So we're going to select scrape and right there under screen scraper, is this particular title. You can see on the left-hand sides, all the information on it. All you have to do is hit enter. It's gonna download the image real quick, download the video preview as well. And this should take a matter of seconds. So there we go. It's already entered in there. So on the right-hand side, you can see we now have the logo there. We have the video preview, box art, description, rating, all that good stuff. So that is literally all we need to do. Now, remember how I had you remove that first dot cue uh, extension in the uh, rom folder if we go up here there's some that have double here you can see zombie revenge there's two extreme sports there's two world series baseball 2k2 up here there's two the reason for that is i haven't yet removed that dot cue extension within the uh, rom folders for these games that's why it pops up two times. And you can see that on a couple different titles here where it pops in there two times. So I've been going through my collection and just removing those. So that's why I recommend when you're adding those in initially, just remove that because otherwise you're gonna have to go back like I have to do here and remove that extension in order to keep Botticera from adding it in here twice on your games list because having two of each title listed on your list makes absolutely no sense. So that is pretty much going to do it for today. Just wanted to walk you guys through exactly what the process is for getting your Dreamcast collection put together and added in on Botticera. All right, so you can see from this process, it's super straightforward to get your games added into Botticera and up and running. You just want to make sure that you follow this step-by-step -step process to ensure that everything goes smoothly for you. And you definitely want to make sure that you remove that file extension in your ROMs in order to keep it from adding in duplicates for each of your titles. You can see from my game list, I still have a few in there that are duplicated. So I just have to go back and remove that file extension from those individual ROMs. Um, it's not the end of the world, but it's an extra step you have to do later on if you don't do it up front. So, you know, learn from my mistakes and you'll uh, save yourself a lot of time. But that's gonna do it for today. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, smash the like button for me. It's a huge help to me here on YouTube. And be sure to subscribe to the Retro Pie Guy YouTube channel because I do a ton of different videos on here based on retro gaming, product reviews, gameplay demos, tutorials, forgotten favorites, YouTube series every single week here on the channel. So tons of great content based around retro gaming. 
Again, best way to stay in the loop is to hit that subscribe button, but that's gonna do it for today. So if you guys have any questions, anything like that, feel free to hit me up in the comment section below. Always happy to help you guys out, but that's gonna do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching.